to solve for this is not easy, but we can do it. Because this same thing as let's simplify this first. One 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 one, right? One 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 one. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Plus the whole of this. Two, 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 five. Okay. So this is the same thing as the square root of this is one 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 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. We have six zeros here. Plus 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 0, plus 5, right? Okay. Now, this same thing as the square root of 1, 1, 1, 1, multiplied by 10 to the power of 0, plus this same thing as 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 1, plus 5. So this same thing as square root of 1, 1, 1, 1, multiply by 10 to the power of 6, plus we can factorize 2 out, and we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, right? Yeah, multiply by 10 to the power of 1 plus 5. All right, now this is equal to, um, we are looking for square roots. So we need to find a way to manipulate this so that we get an, a simpler number to find its square root. So that is exactly what I'm doing right now. So this is the same thing as what? Um, this can be written as 9999, nine, 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 right? Divided by 9. Yes, this divided by 9 will still give you this. Multiply by 10 to the power of 6 plus 2 brackets or 2 multiplied by this same thing as 99999. Nine, 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 nine divided by 9 as well. This divided by now will give you this back, multiplied by 10 to the power of 1 plus 5. Okay. Now, this is equal to square root of... Now, 9999 is same thing as 10,000 minus 1, right? Yeah, this is 9,999. So, this is same thing as 10,000 minus 1. That is 10 to the power of 4 minus 1. So, we have... 10 to the power of 4 minus 1, okay, divided by 9, multiplied by 10 to the power of 6, okay, plus 2 multiplied by the same thing here. This same thing as 10 to the power of 5 minus 1, right? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 99,900, which is same thing as 10,000 minus 1. So this same thing as 10 to the power of 5 minus 1, divided by 9, okay, multiplied by 10 to the power of 1, plus 5. All right. Now, um, this is equal to, now, 10 to the power of 4 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. We give us 10 to the power of 10, right? Because 10 to the power of 4 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. You have the same base. You pick one, then you add the powers, right? According to the law of indices, that's a to the power of x multiplied by b to the power of, sorry, multiplied by a to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x plus y. All right. So we continue. So this is going to be 10 to the power of 10 minus 10 to the power of 6 times 1 will give us 10 to the power of 6, okay, plus over 9 plus, then if we open the bracket from here, we are going to have 2 multiplied by what? 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 5 will give us 10 to the power of 6. Minus 10 to the power of 1 times this will give us 10 to the power of 1, right? Over 9. All right. Plus what? 5. Then this is equal to, note, this square root is for everything. All right? This is same thing as um, square root of, so this is of 10, to the power of 6, my 10 to the power of 10 minus 10 to the power of 6. Okay, 10 to the power of 10 minus 10 to the power of 6. Then plus 2 times this 10 to the power of 6 will give us 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6, right? Then 2 times minus 10 is minus 20 plus 5. This is over 9. This is over 9. Now, I want this to be something over 9, right? And the only way to do that is 5 times 9, which is what? 45 over 9, 
Yeah, because for five divided by nine will still give us five. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please click the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And don't forget to comment, share your thoughts about what you feel, uh, what you feel about what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So this is equal to what square root of 10 to the power of 10. Now, minus 10 to the power of 6 plus 2 times 10 to the power of 6. Now, 2 times 10 to the power of 6 simply means 10 to the power of 6 plus 10 to the power of 6, right? And you are subtracting 10 to the power of 6. 10 to the power of 6 minus 10 to the power of 6, we go, right? So, you are left with 10 to the power of 6. So, that means that 2 times 10 to the power of 6 minus 10 to the power of 6 will give you 10 to the power of 6. So, let's write that. So we have plus 10 to the power of 6, okay? We have taken care of this and this, then minus 20 plus 45. Now, everything will be divided by 9 since they all have the same denominator. Okay, we are getting to the final solution. Like, it's about to go down. <laughs> so this is equal to... Now, let me write what we have here. Let me write it to avoid confusion. So, this is what we have. Square root of 10 to the power of 10 plus 10 to the power of 6 minus 20 plus 45, okay, divided by 9. Now, this is equal to square root of, so we have 10 to the power of 10 plus. This can be written as 10 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5, right? Yes, because 10 to the power of 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5 will give us back. We give us 10 to the power of 6 back. So minus, now for 5 minus 20, we give us 25. So plus 25. Everything divided by 9. So this is equal to square root of. So this can be written as 10 raised to the power of 5 multiplied by 2. Okay. Now plus. 10, this 10 can be written as 2 multiplied by 5, right? 10. The same thing as 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5, right? Plus, this can be written as 5 squared divided by 9. Jackpot! <laughs> are you seeing anything? Yes, I know you are seeing something, but if you are yet to see anything, don't worry, I will explain, alright? I will explain. Now, this is what we have. Square root of 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2 plus 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5 plus 5 squared divided by 9. All right. Now, this is equal to what you have here is this 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2 can be written as 10 to the power of 5 raised to the power of 2 using the law of exponents. That a to the power of mn, that is m times n, is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n. Or a to the power of n raised to the power of m. Sorry. Okay. So, that is why I can bring in any one of them and the other one becomes the, uh, what is it called, the power, right? Okay. Then, plus 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5 plus 5 squared divided by 9. Now, and this is equal to, so if you have, if A, if we say let A equals 10 to the power of 5, and B equals 5, okay? Then, what we have here is what? A squared, right? Plus 2AB, right? 2AB plus B squared, a squared plus 2AB plus B squared. That is what we have here. And this is the same thing as A plus B squared. All right? So that simply means that I can write the whole of this numerator as 10 to the power of 5 plus what? 5 all squared. So that is exactly what I'm going to write now. So this is the same thing as 10 to the power of 5 plus what? 5 squared. All right, divided by 9. But our 9 is same thing as 3 to the power of 2. This same thing as 3 to the power of 2. So that means that this is equal to square root of 10 to the power of 5 plus 5 divided by 3, everything squared. Yes, since they are sharing the same words, the same power. Okay, 
Now, we can now write this as what? You know, we have square root and we have square. So, both of them will cancel each other. So, you are left with 10 to the power of 5 plus 5 divided by 3. Now, this is equal to 10 to the power of 5 is um, 100,000, right? 100, then 1, 2, 3 plus 5 divided by 3. So, this will give us 100,005. Okay? Yeah, divided by 3. All right. Now, um, we are going to divide by 3. When 3 divides 10, you have 3, 3 remainder 1. If you divide 10, you have another 3 remainder 1. If you divide 10 again, 3, 3 remainder 1. Divide 10 again, 3, 3 remainder 1. If you divide 15, we have 5. And this becomes our final solution. Finally. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.